Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem 1518 from Himmler Dynamics. The problem says that the motor exerts a force F on the 40 kg crate is shown in the graph. So F is given as a function of time and it is said that determine the speed of the crate when t equals to 3 seconds and t equals to 6 seconds. And when t is equal to 0, the crate is moving downward at 10 meter per second. So at t equals to 0 second, the crate is moving downward with a velocity of 10 meter per second. So to find the final velocities or the velocities after 3 and 6 seconds, we are going to apply the uh, principle of linear momentum which says that the initial momentum, let's say the initial velocity is V1 plus the impulse due to the external forces which is F times dt and this will be equal to the final momentum which is mv let's say that the final velocity is v so we are going to apply this equation in the vertical direction and the upward direction is our positive direction so if the crate is moving in the downward direction so we for for this convention for this convention the velocity in the downward direction is to be considered as negative so this is minus 10 meter per second and similarly we have to uh, draw the free body diagram so we have to isolate this pulley and crate from the system and the, the the rope will have that same tension or that same force which the motor is going to apply so we have that same force f here so this is uh, we have these two external forces in the upward direction and we have the weight of the crate which is going to act uh, vertically downward so this is the weight is going to act in the downward direction and that is 40 times 9.81 so 40 times 9.81 newtons so that is the weight now as we can see that we are, we are given the force as a function of time in, in the shape of this graph and this is the straight linear line right so we know that the graph of the straight line is always equals to uh, y equals to m x plus b and here the m is the slope and b is the y intercept and y uh, on the y axis we have f so we can write that this is f equals to m on the x axis we have time and the y intercept is 150 we can write it directly this is 150 now we have to find the slope of this line so the slope of this line is uh, the slope of this line is rise divided by run so this is the rise and this rise is 450 minus 150 this 450 minus 150 this gives us 300 and the run is this is the run which is 6 minus 0 so we can write that this this f is equal to m m is 450 minus 150 divided by 6 minus 0 into t the slope into t plus 150 so 450 minus 150 is 300 divided by 6 into t plus 150 so this gives me 600 300 divided by 6 is 50 t plus 150 so this is f as a function of t so this is the equation of that straight line which which is given in the shape of this graph right so now we can apply this uh, principle of linear momentum so the initial velocity is in the downward direction and the mass is 40 40 and the velocity is in the downward direction which is considered to be negative plus the uh, the impulse due to these Two forces which are acting in the upward direction so we can write that this is 2f dt and then the impulse due to the weight so weight is acting in the downward direction so we have to put minus sign since in the upward direction is our positive direction so minus and 40 times 9.81 into t this is equal to the mass mass is again 40 and velocity v so now this is 40 into minus 10 is minus 400 let me write here this is minus 400 plus we can write this two outside of integration and we can write this f as a function of t which we have determined so this is 50 t 
t plus 150 into dt minus and this is constant we can write it outside so this is 40 into 9.81 and this is this is uh, dt this is dt right so this is 40 into v now again we have to integrate this is minus 400 plus 2 and the integration of this will give us the integration of this will give us uh, 50 t square divided by 2 plus 150 t and the integration must be from 0 to t this is from 0 to t so now we have to put those limits this is from 0 to t minus 40 into 9.81 and this will give us t and again we have to put limits from 0 to t and this is equal to 40 times v so now if i divide both side of equation okay first let me put these uh, limits so this will give me uh, minus 400 plus 2 and if i put these limits so we will have 50 divided by 2 is 25 and this is 25 t square plus 150 t and if we put 0 so everything will become 0 so this will be minus 0 and this is minus 40 into 9.81 and if we put these limits so this will be again we will be left with t minus 0 and this will be equal to 40 v so we are left with this equation now if i divide both sides of equation by 40 so we will have this is 40 v and if we divide both sides by 40 so this will be divided by 40 this is divided by 40 and this is divided by 40 so this will be uh, this term will give us minus 10 plus 2 divided by 40 this is 0 0.05 into 25 t square plus 150 t and this will cancel out so we will be left with minus 9.81 t equals to v so now we have the velocity equation like this so we can write that velocity is equal to minus 10 and now we have to multiply this so 0 0.05 into 25 this gives me 1.25 t so this is plus 1.25 t square and then 0 0.05 into 150 0 0.05 into 150 this gives us 7 plus 7.5 t minus 9.81 t and if we rearrange this this is 1.25 t square and we can add both of these so 7.5 minus 9.81 gives us minus 2.31 t and minus 10 so this is the velocity equation now we want to find the velocity when t equals to 3 second when t equals to 3 second we have to put t equals to 3 second in this equation so that will give us the velocity when t equals to 3 seconds so this is 1.25 3 square minus 2.31 into 3 minus 10 so this gives me the velocity after 3 seconds equals to minus 5.68 seconds. So the minus sign indicates that after 3 seconds still the, the weight, the crate is going downward in the downward direction. Since we have applied the principle of linear momentum and we have considered that the positive direction, is the, up, the upward direction is positive. So now the minus sign tells us that the velocity magnitude is 5.6 seconds after 3 seconds and the crate is moving in the downward direction and now we uh, to find the velocity after when t is equal to 6 seconds we have to put uh, t equals to 6 seconds in that equation so this is v after 6 seconds this is equal to 1.25 into 6 square minus 2.31 into 6 minus 10 so this gives us the velocity equals to plus 
21.14 meter per second so now after 6 seconds the crate is moving in the upward direction with a velocity magnitude of 21.14 meter per second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems